for your lab assignment. This is very similar to what you did last week. Uh, you can actually use the exact same topic as you did for your grid view page. If you want to reuse content, that is fine. Uh, you can actually use this page that you're going to create in this lab or the one from grid view as a basis for your final project because they have a lot of the requirements uh, from that project. Uh, they are required as well in this one. So uh, for this project, you are going to need uh, exter two external CSS files. One uh, you're going to call CSS grid screen CSS, and the other one's going to be CSS grid print CSS. And so this is going to be similar to what you did in that SUSE exercise. Um, I have an example here as well. This is the exact same content that I had for grid view, um, but this is done using CSS grid. Okay, so you can actually take a look. And you can see that I've got my grid areas. I've got my template defined for mobile, and then I also have a separate template for tablets and desktop. And then I've got I've done that same thing for print. And for print, I basically just did one template uh, and made everything basically 100%. And then it's the same. Uh, print CSS as you have for the other one. Uh, the only difference here is that, you know, we're dealing with the CSS grid areas and the template. Uh, in your HTML, you have to add those grid area classes. Because uh, as we know, if you don't remember to do that, <laughs> it's not going to work. So make sure you add those classes. And this does go through the requirements, but you'll notice that the requirements are pretty much the same as they were for the grid view. You know, uh, you have to include the meta tags with the keywords. You got to do the viewport meta tag. You have to have two images. Um, so you'll notice these are all pretty much the same requirements. The only difference is the layout. Okay, and that goes for your uh, screen CSS and your print CSS. Again, the difference is the layout. Um, make sure, just like you did last week, you, can, you want to make sure that you test the printing because that is something that I definitely look at to make sure your print CSS is working. So you just do control P and that is pretty much what it should look like. Pretty plain, but you don't want to waste everyone's ink. So <laughs> they appreciate that if you put that CSS in there. Um, once you're done with this, you are going to transfer uh, the pages. Don't forget to add the lesson links to your assignment page. So I've kind of bold faced the new links that you'll be adding to lesson 11. So you're going to add the SUS, and then you're also going to do the responsive page review. Okay, and then uh, down here, I didn't bold face it, but you do need to add your CSS grid to the lab assignment section. Okay, so that is pretty much what you're going to be working on. If you do run into problems with it, make sure you transfer everything to the web and then send me an email.